Hey, Johannes here. Right now, I'll show you how to integrate your ClickFunnels account with the Google Spreadsheets uh, using Zapier. So basically, go to your ClickFunnels account, choose the funnel, and pick the final step with the contact form. Before you do anything, make sure you copy paste URL and insert in a new page and submit the form. In this case, we'll know that we have already test form in the ClickFunnels. After that, um, also make sure you're creating a uh, Google Spreadsheet on your Google Drive. Uh, you can name any title on top, any description, like so if it's contact form saying uh, name, phone number, email, you can say full name, email, phone number, ATK. This one is manually, so you can use whatever you want. Uh, so let's go. Log into your Zapper account, click Make a Zap. Uh, choose Click Funnels. Uh, when you trigger. So you trigger when uh, someone submit the contact form. So trigger when contact activity recorded is created. So we will pick second one. We will we have like couple accounts. We will use this one. Final steps. The step is phone system installation. On system installation, this one, which also will watch for new contacts. Um, make sure you use the final, which is on top left. Click continue. So right now the Zapier is gathering data from uh, from the click funnel. As you see here, we go. Here's our test email. So meaning we're good to go, and click continue. If you don't see, make sure you submit the contact form. Okay, then add new step, action search, and Google Sheets. So right now you need to find, um, you need the trigger. So create new role in the specific spreadsheet. I'll connect your Gmail account, make sure it's connected. Save continue, pick up the drive, my drive, spreadsheet name. So when you're creating a new spreadsheet, it automatically will show up the first one. So that one and the worksheet is basically what the page number if you have one, so you do have one. Up. I will use imparacom prospect prospects. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it's automatically gathering the data which we created. So lead date, as you see over here, lead date, full name, email, phone number, prospect note. Uh, right now what you should do is, since we're using lead date, we're creating, here's the tab. So click final, have this uh, section with the date. So create it at, we pick the, for the lead date. Full name, uh, we pick full name, email, which we used when we submitted the contact form, our email and prospect note. All of the notes and extra information will scroll down and you will see how can we help from our contact form. Looking for phone system installation, done. Click continue and make a test. So when you click send test, right now we'll see over here, oh, as you see, here we go, here's the note. And click finish. This is how you integrate your click funnel with this Google spreadsheet. Name your zap and click live. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.